I'm Chris Dresbeck. I'm, I'm the owner of Cookies by the Dozen, and I had a request from my friend Shane to show her how to make pumpkin wobby pies. Every year, this time of year, this is my most requested item. And here I have two cups of all-purpose unbleached flour. To that, I'm going to add two cups of sugar. Then we're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder, a nice level teaspoon, and one teaspoon of baking soda. One whole tablespoon of cinnamon, because you want it real cinnamony. And we're going to grate some fresh nutmeg. You can use ground nutmeg, but the fresh nutmeg really has a much more um, powerful flavor. So we're going to do about a quarter teaspoon of that. Not a whole lot, but enough that the flavor will come through. It's much stronger when you do it that way. Then from there, we're going to add, this is one can of pumpkin, one 15 ounce can of pumpkin with one cup of vegetable oil. And you notice that I'm just putting it in all together, and that's fine for this. And then we're gonna add four eggs. I always crack the eggs into a separate bowl so that there are no shells. As a, as a muffin. So it's in between. So we're going to get a nice smooth mix. And then I'll show you how to portion it out for what we size. <clears throat> you can see that we're getting nice and smooth. And if you'll give me just a minute break, I will grab a scoop and we can put that on the pan and show you how to do that. They do expand quite a bit, so just bite-sized mini whoopie pies. I'm just gonna go in through here, and I know they double in size, so I'm just spacing them out so they don't touch each other. And they take about anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to bake. You want the tops to be rather dry so that when they're um, filled with the cream, they're not gonna stick to the plate. Once we have them all on our pan, go ahead and bake them, and then I'll show you how to fill them. Got a little crumb on there. And I'm using a sill pad today, which I absolutely love. Uh, you can also use parchment paper if you don't have a sill pad, um, but it does make cleanup a whole lot easier. And I don't spray them. If you're going to use parchment paper, just leave it plain, because if you don't, you will never get them to release. Okay, well these are going to go in the oven, and if you give us a minute, we'll come back and show you what they look like. Okay, welcome back, bakers. There's our pumpkin spice um, little rounds to make our whoopie pies. So we went ahead and scooped them out, baked them for 10 minutes, and we're back. In this bag, I have um, cream cheese filling. It is two blocks of cream cheese, one stick of butter, and two cups of uh, powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla all beaten together and that's what we're going to fill them with. So we're just going to come in here and make a little round and we're going to top it with the other one. So we're going to keep on doing that until we've got them all done. And that is our pumpkin spice whoopie pies. Now they can be made with vanilla cream, they can be made with all different, all different fillings um, or even a chocolate ganache but I particularly love this filling and it's um, very popular. It is, like I said, one of our most requested items. So I hope you try it, I hope you love it, and happy baking.